Hermann Heinrich Gossen, the 7th of September 1810 to the 13th of February 1858, was a Prussian economist who is often regarded as the first to elaborate a general theory of marginal utility. Topic: Life and work. Gossen studied in Bonn, then worked in the Prussian administration until retiring in 1847, after which he sold insurance until his death. Prior to Gossen, a number of theorists, including Gabriel Kramer, Daniel Bernoulli, William Forster Lloyd, Nassau William Sr., and Jules Dupuy had employed or asserted the significance of some notion of marginal utility. But Kramer, Bernoulli, and Dupuy had focused upon specific problems, Lloyd had not presented any application, and if Senior actually employed to the development of more general theory then he did so in language that caused the application to be missed by most readers. Gossen's book Die Entwicklung der Gesetze des menschlichen Werkes, und der daris fließenden Regeln für menschliches Handeln The Development of the Laws of Human Intercourse and the Consequent Rules of Human Action, published in Braunschweig in 1854, very explicitly developed general theoretical implications from a theory of marginal utility, to the extent that William Stanley Jevons one of the preceptors of the marginal revolution was later to remark that it is quite apparent that Gossen has completely anticipated me as regards the general principles and method of the theory of economics. So far as I can gather, his treatment of the fundamental theory is even more general and thorough than what I was able to scheme out. However, Die Entwicklung was poorly received, as economic thought in Germany was then dominated by the historical school and as Gossen wrote it in a dense, heavily mathematical style which was quite unpopular at the time. Although Gossen himself declared that his work was comparable in its significance to the innovations of Copernicus, few others agreed, most copies of the book were destroyed and, today, only a few original copies exist. In the early 1870s, William Stanley Jevons, Carl Menger, and Leon Walras each reintroduced the theory of marginal utility. During discussions of which of those three had been the first to formulate the theory, a colleague of Jevons discovered a copy of Die Entwicklung. However, the discovery in 1878 came several years after the three principals in the Marginal Revolution had published their own books, and significant differences with Gossen's original contributions were overlooked. A century later, 1983, Gossen's book was translated into English. In his introduction to the book, Nicholas Georgescu Rogan, a prominent American economist, distinguished fellow of the American Economics Association, strongly supported Gossen's vision, which stands in opposition to the neoclassical orthodoxy that utility satisfaction is properly identified with consumables in basic utility theory rather than consumption activity. Given that the only certain fact is the intensity of pleasure felt at an instant of time, the only epistemologically sound approach is to take intensity as the primary concept. 1854 1983, LXXXI Further reading. Below. Georgescu Rogan also extended Gossen's behavioral formulation by introducing leisure in addition to production and consumption activities. Gossen was among the first economists to argue that a centrally planned economy was unworkable. Original, nur durch Feststellung des Privateigentums der Mastab Gfunden Weird zur Bestimmung der Quantität, Welcher den Verhaltnissen angemessen am Sveskmasigsten von Jeden Gegenstand zu Produzierenist. Darum wird den die von Kommunisten projektete central behord zur Verthilung der verschiedenen Arbeiten und ihre Belohnung sehr bald die Erfahrung machen, dass sie sich einer Aufgabe gestellt hab, die losing die Kraft einzelner Menschen wird übersteigert. Translation, only through the establishment of private property is to be found the measure for determining the quantity of each commodity which it would be best to produce under given conditions. Therefore, the central authority that's proposed by the communists for the distribution of the various tasks and their reward, would very soon find that it had undertaken a task the solution of which far exceeds the abilities of individual men. Topic. See also Scarcity Marginalism <laughs>